One of the requirements when we're laying out a coach's plaque or say an annual plaque is that typically we want to have a number of columns that are laid out on the plaque. In these columns we want a number of names and typically we want these names to all be evenly spaced and lined up. There's a couple of different ways we can do this in Corel Draw. One way we can do this is with the table command that we can find in version X4 or X5 in Corel Draw. In this lesson, we will take a look at using the table command and we'll set up a standard plaque uh, on an annual in Corel Draw. So let's get started. In this example, we're going to set up an 11 by 14 inch plate and we're going to do an annual plaque. If you take a look at the example on the screen right now, typically most of our annual plaques are broken into two sections. Typically we have a header plate and we've got a body plate or a section. Now within the header, typically what we're going to do is we're going to paste in a logo. We go up to paste you can just drop a logo into that area. So that logo is going to be basically in our header section. And let's make sure that it's right in the middle. And we'll just delete that out. So there's my logo there. Now we want the text to go in the body here. We're going to do this with the table command. So typically what I'm going to have on this plate here though, I'm going to make something that's about say 9.5 inches wide and let's make this, I've got, I'm, going to, I'm going to basically break my plates down into one by threes and let's say I'm going to have six rows of names and three columns. So I'm going to have six plates that are one inch tall so I'm going to make this number six. So there's my plate layout there. I'm going to have three inch wide plates and I want a quarter inch margin between the two rows here and here. So that's why we have the 9.5. Basically what I've got here is I've got three inches times three, which is nine. And then I've got two columns of a quarter inch, which is nine and a half inches. So let's just delete this out. When we want to access the table command, we do this by coming over to the toolbox and we leave our, if we hover our mouse over top of the table icon, we can activate it by clicking on it. Now, in this case here, I want six rows and I want three columns. So I press enter and I come out here and we're going to drag out. And there's my table. Now what I want my table to be is basically nine and a half inches tall by six in, or wide by six inches tall. Now again, I can do this by just moving this until we get down to the five. Or what I can do is actually enter a value in here. Typically, to make this properly done, I'm going to access the transformation size docker, turn the proportional setting off, and this is going to be 9.5, press the tab button, and this is going to be 6. Make sure this is on 0 if you're running X5, and click Apply. So now I've actually got an, an area here from my table that's 9.5 inches tall by 6 inches high. Now all I need to do with that logo is put it in the middle of the page, which it is, and I'm going to start getting some text in it. Now before I can put my text in it, I actually have to get the setup as far as the, the center justification and, and all that set up. Because if I go right now to enter text, if I click in here right now, if you zoom in on this area here, and then we click on text, you notice here that if I just want to put one line of text in, it's not going to work. Basically, right now, my justification, if we look up to the top right-hand corner here, my horizontal alignment is none right now. That doesn't work. My text size isn't the right size. And 
I'm at the top of the page, not the middle, which is where I want the text to be. So I've got to do some some cleanup here and get my plate set up properly before I can start entering all my text in. If we zoom back out again to the page view, which is Shift F4, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the way the text is laid out in each one of these cells. The way to do this is it's very easy. There's a couple different ways you can select the, the table. But when I want to change the text attributes, all I need to do is select the table and I'm going to go into the text attributes. So I select the text tool and then all I need to do now is change my justification to center. I'm going to change my font size to 18 and I need to make sure that the spacing is in the center not at the top. The way to do that is to go to text, paragraph formatting, and notice here that my vertical alignment right now is top. I want to make that center. So now what I've done is I've, I've now every cell in the table has a vertical alignment of center, a horizontal alignment of center, and my text size is 18 points. So let's take a look at entering in some text now. So all I need to do now is come over to the text and notice now if I zoom in on the cells, I can now enter the text in in the middle. So we can type in a name. Oops. And if we go to another one, we can say, and we come down here and we got, uh, and let's put a name in here. And I'm just going to enter in a bunch of names. And we're just getting a bunch of names all laid out in here. So now I've got a bunch of names all set up in my plate. So once this, this is all set up now, now if I go back out to my plate view, you can see that I've got all my page already all set up. Now, sometimes you may not want these borders to, to print. I've selected the border here and notice here I can come up to the border here and I can say all or I can say inside or outside depending on how I want those lines to be done. Typically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select all so now I've got a border for everything and I'm just going to go in here and make it white. And notice now I have no borders here. I can send this over and I can print one big header plate if I want right here and then engrave the whole plate. As you can see I can actually what I'm going to do here is actually engrave one big plate with all the names on it. I know sometimes customers want individual plates and if they do well then we can just engrave the individual plates and cheer them after. But in this case I'm actually going to generate one master plate with the names right on it. 
Now the nice thing about the way the text is laid out right now is I can actually change the justification if I want for each one of the columns. So what I can do is I can select the table tool and I can come over and maybe it's easier for me just to turn let's turn the borders back on again here just so we can see them and I'm going to do all so what I can do here is I can actually select the table if I go over to the top left hand corner here I can select the whole table now I want to do each call each column individually so what I can do is I can just click on that column that whole column now is is selected so what we can do here is we can make the justification left and I have the middle column center and if I want to make the right column right I can just select down here and just go right and now I've got a fully justified table and sometimes in our older layouts this is the way we want to lay stuff out we may not want everything to be center justified we may want just the each column to have its own justification also if I select this I can actually go in and select all that column and if you want we could change the spacing to whatever we want uh, or we can change the alignment to top we want it centered again if we come up and we turn the character formatting on I can change this to a larger font if I want or I can even change the cell to red change the borders color by right clicking and there's a number of different things that we can do here so again once you know how to use the table command there's a number of things that we can do to set up a nice looking layout that is proportional even and evenly spaced and looks very professional I know that putting one by three plates on there is a good way of doing it however if you do one big plate you can generate an annual a heck of a lot faster than you can just a bunch of individual plates so when you're doing team pictures and you've got to lay out a bunch of names on a plate and sublimate them or laser engrave them then this is certainly an easier way of doing it